seems like I'm always coming back to the spot for some reason. So today, I am just taking a drive. So what I decided to do today, starting at this point with the convergence of the Minisink River and the Delaware River here in New Jersey, and then I'm just gonna keep going up north where the uh, state lines of Pennsylvania and New York meet. And I'm just gonna keep going up until that one section of Pennsylvania's border just keeps going west. It should be fun. Make some stops along the way too. Now that it's later in the summer, all the water's starting to rise up again. It's been also raining quite a lot this summer too, so there's that. And also for all the times that I've been here, I've never been on this side of the uh, monument taking a look at the river. Really nice. Something else that's also pretty interesting, all of Laurel Grove Cemetery lies right upon that convergence that I just mentioned earlier for Delaware River to the west and then Minisink to the east. I have to get back on Route 6 in order to uh, uh, take the path that I want to today. I wasn't expecting it to be windy today. So this building right behind me is the Erie Depot, which served as Port Jervis's uh, former railroad station until the uh, NJ Transit and MTA station that's uh, a little bit further downtown. This was built in 1892, but it closed in the mid 1970s. And over here is the Erie Hotel. I guess used to be this train station's main hotel when it was open. And right here is the official Port Jervis station for the MTA and New Jersey Transit. This is the furthest out that New Jersey Transit uh, actually goes when you're going uh, towards New York City but it actually stops in Hoboken right before you get over to New York City. All right, night. Yeah. All right, next stop in my Delaware River Drive, Hawk's Nest. lookout point that I was at earlier didn't really have the best view because I really couldn't see much except for the, the hills back here. But right here, you get a really nice view of the river. There's so many people uh, on canoes and kayaks today. I don't blame them. It's really nice out. It's like, right now it's 80 degrees. Now I wish I brought a bathing suit or something. Gonna keep moving forward. So I was just thinking to myself while I was driving, when am I gonna come across something else interesting on the Delaware River while I'm going up? And I found that. This little building called the Eagle Observation Area. Pretty much as the name implies, it's an Eagle uh, Observation Center. Avoid loud noises. It seems like this was created by the Delaware Highlands Conservancy. This is cute. Get a nice view of the river too. Besides those guys on the motorcycle back there. This is really, oh, there's an eagle. This is really nice. Right here is the Upper Delaware Scenic Byway. And this is the route that I'm actually taking today. So I started down here at Port Jervis today and I just kept going on Route 97 here in New York. And I reached Hawks Nest Scenic Drive and then I went up to Pond Eddy and then past Glens Bay, Berryville. And now we're in the Mini Sink Ford this is where I am right now. Technically, I could travel up here in a Hancock, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Oh, 
Bethel Woods Center for the Arts. That's cool. This is actually really helpful because I started to lose cell signal up here. And so this, this helps immensely. Well, I'm gonna go back in that thing real quick because I haven't seen another eagle for the past 15 minutes. Well, that was disappointing and I couldn't get it on video, but I did see it. Maybe I'll make a, uh, a dramatization to show what it looks like. So this is actually pretty funny. I didn't even make it like five minutes away from that uh, eagle observation and I already come across something else. So this right here is a mixed pedestrian and car bridge, also named the Roblings Delaware Aqueduct. And this bridge goes between New York and Pennsylvania and crosses, you guessed it, the Delaware River. So here's the tri-state area for Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey. That's where I was earlier. And this is an enlarged view. So there I was in Port Jervis today. And then I travel all along here to make it over to the Delaware Aqueduct. And this is actually part of a like, bigger network of uh, coal transportation. So hard coal was brought over from this area and then traveled along here and it went all the way towards the Hudson River in Kingston. I'm just amazed that humans have been able to just create the most extraordinary things in order to transport things from one place to another with the least amount of effort possible. Walkway over the Hudson? I hardly know her. Oh, there is a shoe in the river. I'd hate to be a poor guy who lost their shoe in the river. I'm not making it over to the Pennsylvania side. I want to wait up on that until I get uh, all the way up until Pennsylvania state line just keeps going west. And then I'm going to make my way back down through Pennsylvania. Today, New York Route 97 has become my new best friend. The only way I could get over to that was literally being on the side of the road. The things that I do for my content. I feel like I walked into a grocery store in the 80s. So I actually stayed for a while so I could get some lunch or dinner, depending on how you think of it. There's no like period between lunch and dinner that you could really uh, count as another meal. Just that period between like, let's say maybe three and 5 p.m. like. Is it lunch? Is it dinner? It's hard to tell. Anyways, I got this sandwich. The last thing I had to eat today was a bagel at home. So this was well needed. So bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, American cheese, and chicken. Mmm. This slaps. Go to Peach Market in Narrowsburg, New York. You'll love it. I got about another hour to go until I reach the, the uh, boundary between New York and Pennsylvania before it starts going west. Let's get a move on. And I got a few more stops that I wanna make along the way. I'm now driving through a town called Delaware here in New York and back in Orange County, there's a town well, a village called Florida. Pretty funny. Two state names that are towns in a different state. Okay, so now I'm in Hancock, New York. I've actually been here previously back in April 2021. I just randomly drove up here and 
New York sign. <laughs> I randomly drove up here one day and I was like, hey, this is pretty cool. This was actually featured in my vlog voyage series, but it was in the little special that I made towards the end of the year because I didn't include it in any of my previous videos. So, this is almost towards the end of where New York and Pennsylvania share the Delaware River. So, on this side of me, what I'm walking away from, Hancock, New York, and then over on this section of the bridge is Starlight, Pennsylvania. I'm still keeping up with the, uh, I can't get my thoughts together. So I'm keeping up with a little goal that I set for myself to not step a foot in Pennsylvania until I reach the top of the Delaware River point with New York and Pennsylvania. So I'm almost there. I have like another 10 miles north to go. So today is August 13th when I'm recording this video. And the last time I was, he I was here was April 13th. 2021 so it's been exactly two years and four months since I was last here it was so worth it <laughs> this road scares me a bit because going back over here like there's no pedestrian walkway whatsoever I think back when I originally came up here I wanted to do something like this where I just travel up the Delaware River but that plan never came into fruition for me but, you know, I thought of it now. And good for me. I also made it up to the northernmost point on Route 97. So now I just got to take Route 17 over towards the boundary marker and then back down. So now just a half mile down this road is the marker for New York and Pennsylvania. All right, here we are. Marker is right over there. Over on this side is the town of Sanford, New York. Right down here is Scott Township, Pennsylvania. You can tell we're towards the end of one state because the road just instantly goes <clears throat> But before I walk over there, I wanna take a look at this placard. Because this is the same exact one that's, uh, that's in the Palisades and, and Port Jervis. These are also hunting grounds, so I kind of got to be careful with what I'm doing here. Here on this marker, it was installed in 1884 by the commissioners. And 600 feet west of the northeast corner of Pennsylvania. Is there another one on the opposite side for Pennsylvania? Let us see. Oh, there is. So, just like on the opposite side of this, there's so many mosquitoes. Uh, boundary marker, 1884, commissioners right here, and 600 feet west of the northeast corner of Pennsylvania. This was so worth this journey. So now, I'm gonna be walking into Pennsylvania. Yeah. That was honestly really fun. There were so many mosquitoes out, I would have stayed out there longer, but no, well, I wanted to get back in here. This car is my mosquito shield. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna go to Tim Hortons. Might as well finish my sandwich while I'm here. They didn't have any Timbits in there, but it was so worth it. I got some iced tea and some donuts. And I also got this bracelet. Now I just need to get some gas and then I'm gonna make my journey home. So I'm not gonna go down the Delaware River. I'm just gonna take 81 and 84 to get home.
Honestly, who would have thought that I would be at another Tim Hortons today? I didn't. Luckily, this was on my route home and I needed to use the bathroom, so it worked out pretty well. I've also visited both of these Tim Hortons locations before, so I was already aware of it. But it's just funny that today specifically, I just came across two in the United States. That normally doesn't happen, but you know, life works in mysterious ways.